This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hello to all my favorite people, love you guys, and we are back with another episode of the Edit With Me Monday show, the show where we make editing super, super simple. Today we're talking about a brand new feature from Lightroom and it's called Local Hue Adjustment. This is a really cool feature and honestly, I'm pretty shocked that it just wasn't always part of Lightroom because it just feels like it should be there and it's really, really easy to use. Before, you could only adjust hue across the board so for your whole image, but now you can actually zero in on objects and certain part of your image to just adjust the hue for that specific spot. So let's jump into Lightroom and try it out. All right, so we're here in Lightroom and as you can see, I picked a photo with a lot of blues and purples and this is just gonna show you how much the hue affects the photos and also how nice it is to now have this local hue adjustment. So before how you could edit hue, let's just take a look so we have a little recap and something to compare this new tool to. So if we go to the HSL color panel, and I've actually done a whole video on this panel, but I am thinking about doing an updated version for you guys with some new tips and tricks and featuring these new kind of things that are going on. So if you would like an update on the HSL color panel, let me know and I will make that video for you guys. So we're gonna go over to Hue and let's just say that we wanted to change the color of the water and make it more teal, more turquoise. You'd go over to blue and you'd bring that down and now if we're just looking at the water, that's great. We went from that and now we've just injected some more turquoise into it. The problem with this method though is that it changes every single blue in your photo and actually every color that even just has a bit of blue in it. So if I actually click over here and I look at the before of the image, what we're gonna see is the difference here. So here's the after and here's the before. So yeah, on the water, that was really cool. But what also happened was now the bathing suit is a different color and this jacket is a totally different color there's the before and there's the after with the hue adjusted. We totally changed the color and print of this jacket just by moving the blue hue. Now, if you're just making photos for, you know, art for your own sort of projects, um, just to create something, changing the colors is really cool and a really fun technique. But if you are doing photos for, any kind of commercial work and especially product photography, in this case, fashion photography, you can't just be changing the color of the product because they're gonna use these photos to sell something. If someone buys that, they wanna know that they're gonna get what they see in the photo. So with any kind of product photography, you might want to be changing certain colors in your photos, but you gotta keep the color of the product true to real life. So that's why this hue adjustment that changes your whole photo, it really kind of stifles you because yeah, maybe you want the water to be a darker, richer blue, but all of a sudden it's totally affected the jacket. Again, if we look at the before, now the whole jacket sort of like a much more purple look. So we can't do it that way. So we'll just reset that. So this new feature totally solves this problem. Now we can actually use the brush tool to inject hue wherever we want. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the adjustment brush right here and it brings the drop down of all the things that you can change. Um, and I've done tons of videos on the adjustment brush, so if you're not sure how to use it, click the link up above and it'll give you a great rundown. Now the new feature that is just added is this new section for hue right in the adjustment brush. So we have our little slider and we can inject the hue however we want. So how it works with the adjustment brush is we actually just take our brush over to the photo and paint on the area that we want to adjust. You can always tap the O key if you wanna see what exactly you're highlighting and it kinda just gives you a red guide it's not actually making it red, it's just sort of a guideline to show you what you're actually changing. So now that we have that highlighted, hit O, and now what we can do is we can go and adjust the hue the same way, make the water more turquoise, but now we aren't impacting any other element of the photo. So we can just have fun, make the water look how we want it to look, and not worry that we're messing up the jacket or the bathing suit or anything like that. So I could make that water more of a turquoise 
or more of a rich dark blue. I mean, you can do a lot of crazy things with hue. You could totally change the color of things. So I could just be in some like toxic sludge, but let's not do that to me today. We have enough problems going on. Um, so I'm just gonna make that more of that kind of teal color. So if we look at the before and the after, all we've done is edited the color of the water. We haven't impacted anything else. And I think that that is such an amazing feature. Now, I do wanna show you though, just how powerful this tool is because the hue actually changes the R, the G, the B in each pixel. So it's a great way to totally alter the color of the image and it works much, much better than, you know, just trying to adjust the saturation or things like that or using tint and temperature. Uh, using the hue is a much better uh, and much better looking way of adjusting the color of something. So now let's just say we do just want to have fun with this. We want to change things as much as we want to make our own artistic image. So I'm going to hit that adjustment brush and this time I am going to zoom right in and what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the bathing suit. Now it is important in this case, if you're doing this, you gotta stay in the lines um, just because if anything bleeds over, you're gonna see it. So I would definitely take your time with this element of you know going in along all the lines and erasing any spots where you go over it. All right, so once you have that done, we can just zoom on out. We're gonna make sure we have that selected on the bathing suit. And now what we can do is press the O key and we can actually just go into the hue and have fun with it. So I could make this a much more blue bathing suit. I could make it into teal. Literally, you can go ahead and change it to any color. Obviously, some colors don't really make sense and this is where you can have fun with it. Now. Obviously, I love fashion and style, so I spent, you know, time to make my bathing suit match with my jacket. Um, so probably this wasn't the best photo to use to show you about changing hue, because I actually love those two colors together. But if, say, you know, your model or something had on a pink bathing suit and it didn't really go with the jacket or whatever you were showing, you could go in and just change it or tone it down, change the colors to make everything go together really, really nicely. So I could make this more of a bright purple bathing suit. And that actually looks really good. So there would be the before and there's the after, just sort of turning that bathing suit purple and having fun with the water. We can even go all the way and, and literally make it any color we want. Pink, orange, green. So there are so many options in that you could take it really far with your local hue adjustment or you can just keep it kind of simple and just use this as something that is a great tool to just slightly ramp something up or slightly change a specific element of your photo to make it really, really pop. And definitely don't get carried away thinking that this tool is only good for the main elements of your photos. I think that this tool can be used so much and can really take your photos to the next level. You could change the sky, make a blue sky into a purple sunset, or look at other little parts of your photos that aren't necessarily the focal point and figure out how you could use color to make your photo more interesting. Maybe it's a photo of someone sitting in a coffee shop and they're holding a mug. Well, you could go in and highlight that mug and make it the exact same color as their t-shirt just to make it a bit more interesting. So think about how you can use color, how you can edit props in your photos to be certain colors because this tool literally allows you to change anything you want and any color you want to really take your photo to the next level. So I hope you guys had fun learning all about the adjustment brush tool. And I have to say thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. If you guys think you learn a lot from me, you will learn a lot from Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes and anything you could wanna learn about, but what I love are the video, photography, art, and design classes. They are so good. I probably do about two a month and I just love doing them because you never know what's gonna be that one tip, that one new thing that you learn that just sparks something and you're just like super excited about it. Right now the class I am doing is called Fundamentals of Portrait Photography, using natural light to create drama. The thing I love about this course is he basically is just using something we all have, 
a camera and natural light, which is free and we can use anytime. And he talks about how you can use it to take great photos. So if you guys wanna check out Skillshare, uh, it's less than $10 a month on an annual membership. You can't beat that, but I'll, I'll sweeten the deal. If you click that link in the description below, you will get two free months to Skillshare Premium and you can try it out and do a ton of classes in two months. All right, guys, I will see you next week. Peace out. Love you lots.